To take someone to the cleaners is probably not the best way to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Elstrom here using uh, one of the products of 2020 and 2021, uh, hand sanitizer. So I was thinking about this, I mean, this expression this morning as I was getting up and about my day and starting out my daily routine. And I realized that over the last two years, I have had very little need to go to the dry cleaners. I used to go to the dry cleaners a couple times a week or every week regularly when I was in corporate America. And even in some of the businesses that I was involved in, I would go to the cleaners a lot. During 2020, I think I joined the masses of women who practically lived in yoga pants and uh, exercise gear and sweatpants and even pajama pants without people knowing because we weren't out and about and interacting with other people. So I was looking for some dry cleaning techs and I didn't even look because I knew I didn't have any or very many. And I used to have a big section of my closet with just all my dry cleaning that I would pick up and exchange every week and uh, realize that I don't have a section of dry cleaning closet anymore since I've gone remote and work mostly online and remotely. I don't need to go to the dry cleaners as much as I used to. I don't wear the crisp white shirts and the suits anymore, which I'm not going to lie. I don't miss them. Sometimes, every once in a while, I like getting dressed up. But for the most part, I am enjoying my casual lifestyle, more casual lifestyle. So, of course, our idiom today, our money idiom for the month of November is supersize your, for supersize your business is to take someone to the cleaners. Now, this expression became really popular in the 1920s when dry cleaning and dry cleaners became popular. If you had something that was soiled, you took it to the cleaners. And that came to mean over time that you would, um, it's from an older idiom, to clean someone out. Well, to clean somebody out means to take all of their money, right? And then in the 1920s, it became take somebody to the cleaners instead of clean somebody out because of the advent of dry cleaners. Dry cleaners were popping up all over the place and so it just became a more popular expression than to clean someone out and it's maintained that meaning of course that's relatively new idiom as far as idioms go but what does it mean it means to take advantage of somebody right it means to uh take all their money or take all their resources or or do something stomp the competition right um maybe it's like get a good deal for your business from a vendor or supplier but Usually it means somebody isn't winning in the transaction. And we need to keep in mind when we're growing and building and supersizing our business that our business growth is a representation of the value we're creating in the world. And money is just an exchange of value. So if we are growing at the expense of other people, if we are harming other people in order to grow, then <coughs> we're taking them to the cleaners. I think of different businesses. And I was going to say taking people to the cleaners isn't the fastest way to grow your business. But then I, I had to step back and think about that. Well, think about illegal businesses, the drug trade, the drug business, um, all the terrible, you know, people trafficking and things that we don't want to think about and don't participate in because we're in, in our businesses to make the world a better place. But there are businesses that make a whole lot of money really, really fast by harming other people and taking them to the cleaners. Uh, don't want to participate in any of those. Not if you want to really grow and supersize your business. And again, make the world a better place. So love to know your experience with this particular expression. I have been taken to the cleaners on occasion, but it, you know, only, only one or two because, you know, fool me once, shame on you or shame on me, fool me. No, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So I like to learn the lesson the first time I get bamboozled or fooled. And uh, proud to say I haven't been taken to the cleaners very often, but been taken to the cleaners by people on occasion that I never would have anticipated would have taken advantage of me and taken, taken me to the cleaners. But I think that's part of my, my learning journey, right, is I had to have those experiences in order to learn what to look for and what to be on the alert for so that I don't ever have to experience those things again. So share the comments below your experience with the idiom take somebody to the cleaners or being taken to the cleaners and, or your interpretation and thoughts on this particular idiom. And I will be with you tomorrow with another money idiom. We're almost out of November. So just a few more to go. Uh, what does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and supersize your business or how might you choose not to
to use it to grow and supersize your business because we want to be giving value to our customers and the people that we serve and are in business with, uh, not take them to the cleaners or take advantage of them. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.